From the very beginning, our leadership was committed to equitable access. COVAX is a global health initiative that was put in place about a year ago to ensure that any country, regardless of income, would have access to COVID-19 vaccines. The equitable distribution of vaccines are essential because these are the first interventions which prevent us from getting sick. And in the case of the pandemic, which you know has not discriminated uh, in terms of the impact on countries or economies, starting early was absolutely critical. A lot of the work day to day is, is on problem solving and coordinating uh, a lot of the planning. You could start your day talking to governments, uh, which may be the Minister of Health, the heads of immunization and their teams. You know, we're working very closely with the manufacturing teams to ensure that the supply and considerations that need to be taken are made. Everyone is working around the clock to get this vaccine to where it needs to go. For us, the Rwanda shipment was very special because it was the first time we were able to ship our vaccine to a low-income country. And we did it in a record time, which was essentially only two months after the first shipment reached the US and Europe. Um, it was absolutely extraordinary that the gap in this case, given the nature of the pandemic, was only two months. And for us, it was essential because it underpinned the commitment Pfizer has had to equity. This has been one of the largest global health mobilizations in response to the pandemic since HIV. I think the whole team had been working so hard with trying to do everything we possibly could, irrespective of where the vaccine needed to go, that it was only upon reflection did we realize what, what we were actually able to accomplish. I feel privileged to be a part of it. Uh, I think, you know, it's one small part that we can contribute, I can contribute. It's one of the things which, you know, wasn't ever a part of my career plan, uh, but I feel lucky to have been able to contribute in part to the global health pandemic response.